Welcome back to Center Stage. Everybody, Matthew Broderick is our guest. So in 1985, you get the role of Eugene again in Biloxi Blues. That's the second Neil Simon part of the trilogy. Mm -hmm. What was your connection with Neil Simon, and what type of guy is Neil Simon? I mean, are the words that we see that he writes, is that the person he is? Yeah, I think so. It's very peculiar working with him because uh, if, like me, if you grew up watching, you know, The Odd Couple or um, various other things, uh, I didn't. I thought it was sort of a company where comedy came out of Neil Simon. I, I wasn't even clear it was one person. Uh huh. So to be delivering those lines that you grew up on, and to be playing him. Yeah, but, it was a semi-autobiographical, right? Yes, it was, and. Uh, uh, Biloxi Blues, too. It, it, that's his army years. So you go from Eugene, uh, you had had a movie, War Games, which did very, very well, where a young right. computer hacker almost start World War III. Yes. And then um, you score Ferris Bueller. Yes. How did you meet John Hughes? And Because I, I had read that he wrote that part with you in mind, right? I'm not sure about that. He might have. Mm -hmm. I was sent the script. I read it and I thought, this is great, but again, I'm talking to the camera, I talk to, in Brighton Beach I talk to the audience too. Right. So I was like, wow, everything I do, I talk to the audience. So I wasn't sure right away if I should do that. My agent then, I believe, it was one of those things where I was like, I'm not sure this is a good idea. And I was like, how did you get here so quickly? He, he, <laughs> you know, he got, he transported himself somehow right. to New York to say, mm -hmm. You're doing, the, you're doing this movie. They're not going to not do this movie. And John Hughes was crazy. big then, doing yeah, all yeah. the... Yeah. So I said, okay. And uh, then I, John came to the city, I think, and, and that's when I first met him. And he, he, he was a, a shy person, you know. He takes a while to get to know John. Um, but he was hilarious. He was a, the expert of the zinger uh, out of nowhere. And I grew to really just adore him. Was it a fun movie? It seemed like, well, I guess the, this is what you want the audience to think. Gee, they're having fun. Were you having fun doing the movie? Yes, most of the time. Uh -huh. You know, it's always some of it isn't as fun as it looks. And some things are more fun than it looks. Mm -hmm. But uh, Alan Ruck, who played Cameron in it, was my buddy. And he was in um, Biloxi Blues on Broadway with me at the time. So that was nice. We got there, and I had a big camper, you know, a, a motorhome, the sink, you know, nice kitchen, all that. Uh -huh. And he was in a, a shoebox that they would put in the, uh, they would bring in the trunk of a car and tell him, go change in that. <laughs> so, um, so we ended up sharing out of the goodness of my heart. That's, that's nice. We shared. Now, I don't know if you know that this was done, but there's a guy named Larry Granillo of the internet blog uh, Baseball Prospectus. He yes. analyzed the movie, and he, said he analyzed the movie. He analyzed the movie, and he found the game that the actual game it was June fifth, nineteen eighty-five. You mean the game that we watched? The, the game that you were at Wrigley Field, wow. all right? And he also determined that you guys stayed at the game till four p.m. because you caught the foul ball by Claudel Washington. Now, after that, <laughs> I don't think I really caught a foul ball. Oh, yeah, I think you did. In the in, all right. So, you did, there was a foul ball, I can't, one of the three you caught a foul ball. I believe you. Okay. <laughs> After you leave the game, you go to the museum, the Sears Tower, the Lake, Sloan's house, two musical numbers during the parade, yeah. and you get home by 5.55. How'd you get that all in from 4 o'clock? <laughs> Just wondering, Matthew. Yeah. That's, I'm glad you uh, pointed that out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So don't enjoy that movie anymore, folks. So it's, it's not it's not possible. <laughs> it's possible for you to continue to enjoy Center Stage. So stay right here and yes.